Your mama saw, oh, she has powder for breast milk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey everyone, Tammy here back with a video. So today I am not going to talk about skin and I don't have an update on the condition of my skin, but I've been trying this hair care kind of routine for a while now, probably since March. And I feel like all these things that I've been doing have really contributed to the health of my hair. So I thought, hey, you know, if something works for me, I want to share it with you guys. So Today we're going to talk about my hair care routine slash hair care tips. So if this sounds interesting, keep watching. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, hit the notification bell. So when I discover things like this that work for me, I can share it with YouTube and you will get notified. So before I keep talking, let's get started. The first thing I have to share is not something we do externally, but it's something that I consume. So just like we want to take care of our bodies on the inside and on the outside, we also want to do that for our hair. So this is what I consume on the daily. Um, this is Dr. Axe's Ancient Nutrition well, there you go, Multi-Collagen Protein Powder. So this protein powder has five sources of collagen, which is really awesome. There's a few out there that I've seen before that only have like three sources of collagen. So this one has five. So that's pretty good. Um, this one has no taste at all. So let me show you guys what I do in the morning. So every single morning I take a heaping scoop. So this is a scoop. It's not that big, but I usually do like I freaking overflow it. Um, so I take this with my... Oh, Your mama so old, she has powder for breast milk. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, if you guys know what movie that's from, go ahead and let me know, comment. Anyways, so I take this with my morning shake. And I really, really hate anything powder. Like, like powdered creamers, even protein powders. Like when I take my protein shakes after I work out. Or when I take like pre-workout and it's in powder form, it really takes a lot out of me to swallow it because I just don't like that powdery consistency especially if it's not like completely blended in or when it's not the soluble level is like not that high and it's like very thick little grains of powder so this powder is really really fine and it has no taste at all yeah even with like the boba drinks like I really like taro but like when I know that it's like powdered taro flavor I'm like mm -mm, passion fruit green tea um, instead. So anyways, I take one heaping scoop of this every single day with my breakfast shake and I feel like it's really helped my nails stay strong, my hair grow. By the way, I didn't get electrocuted. This is, this hair is intentional. Um, well, it's not intentional the way it looks, but I tried a waiver or I bought a waiver like a couple months ago and we haven't really had the chance to like go out and for me to use it so I decided to try it out this is my third time using it I know I have a lot of room for improvement but this is just what we are working with today not the cutest but hey I tried but anyways with the protein powder so this has no taste at all and when I mix it in with my breakfast shake I just fill up a tall glass of like lukewarm water and then I just chug it so I'm not like holding around sipping it where it has a chance to like separate if it wasn't totally mixed in so I'm just like chugging it in the morning and I feel like my hair has been a lot more healthy. It used to be blonde for a really long time and then I did on my balayage and then I did balayage for like I don't know 10 years but recently I think the end of the summer end of October of August I dyed it dark because I was just looking for a different look so it could be that I dyed my hair dark that it also looks healthy but you can't feel my hair but it has a lot of weight to it and when I style it it's easy easier for me to manage so my hair like it's easier for me to manipulate how I want it to look when I style it because it's a lot more healthier than before like I can tell the difference like there's a lot of weight here and I have no extensions on this is just my natural hair FYI I was born bald so this is a lot of hair for for me <laughs> So I take that protein powder. Um, so price, let's talk about price. So my mom put me on this. She has a subscription service to Ancient Nutrition. So when you opt in for subscription service, you could get a bottle of this or a canister or whatever you want to call it for around $34, which I feel like is pretty affordable. So it's like $34 a month 
one of these lasts me right around a month but if you're like me and you don't want to like jump the gun you want to try it first first bottle i mean just a la car or wholesale or not wholesale or retail just without the subscription service this one's 45 dollars so we're talking about an 11 dollar difference um if you decide that it does work for you just do that subscription service and then you'll get it for 34 dollars so that's what i take every single day oh by the way it is not vegan i'm sorry but it is keto friendly and it is gluten free so win win lose mm. i take that every day but i only wash my hair uh twice a week and when i do wash my hair i just use regular shampoo and conditioner um products that are just drugstore they're not anything expensive and the reason why I do that is because I feel like I spend money on the powder every month and I also spend a little more on like the oils and the leave-in conditioners that I'm going to share with you in a second so to me when I wash my hair I don't need all like the fancy stuff so let me share with you this one first so this is the Dove intensive repair conditioner so this one has been my ride or die for like ever since i was like in college i've been using this or not in college high school so this is the conditioner it leaves your hair super soft it untangles it, it this is just freaking awesome and i think this is like seven dollars or something so can't go wrong with that with this i would use this with the shampoo as well because they also have the shampoo of the same line when i was blonde i would use fanola let's say if i ran out of fanola or something like that um i would just use the shampoo one of this by the way, Fanola is the best purple shampoo hands down. I don't care what anybody says. It literally is the best. Last time that I ran out of shampoo, I went to Target and I was trying to pick that up. The Dove Intensive Repair Shampoo. However, it was sold out, which is very, very rare because that's never happened before. Like, it's always available. So, cats out of the bag, I guess. People heard about it. So I had to look for a different shampoo. So I picked this one up and I pretty much am converted. I really, really like it. So this is the OGX Thick and Full Biotin and Collagen Shampoo. So I gravitated toward this bottle for a few reasons. Number one, it says Thick and Full. Like that's right up my alley, right? And then Biotin and Collagen, like again, check, check. And the day that I went to Target to look for a shampoo, it was the Laker playoff game. So this was gold and purple or purple and gold or yellow and gold, whatever you want to call it. And so I was like, yes, yes, and yes. So I just got it. So it smells really, really strong. Like the first, like when you open it and you put it on your hair and you wash your hair, um, a little too strong. But the next day and the day after that, your hair still smells good. So I like that. But this, the shampoo is pretty good. I think this is $8 for this big old bottle. So this is probably like seven or eight each. So we can't beat that. So the days I do wash my hair, those are the items that I use. And when I get out of the shower, I comb my hair with a wide tooth comb. This one's probably not as wide tooth, but um, this one works for me. So I comb my hair so when it's wet or like I just like towel dry it and I comb it out with this. So you don't want to brush your hair, especially when you have long hair, because I feel like the um the force you use to like detangle ooh. <laughs> the force that you use to like brush your hair with the brush um i heard that when you like swipe it down that's what causes split ends i don't know if that's true but when i heard that i was like mm -mm, girl give me one of these so i use one of these and lately i've been using this leave-in conditioner so this is the it's a 10 Miracle leave-in plus keratin leave-in conditioner is such a long thing. Just do one or two words. <laughs> um, but you can tell that I've been using this a lot. So actually, if you guys saw my empties video, post-Accutane quarantine empties video, I slid in a hair care product, which was the Olaplex bonding oil number seven, which I still love. But when I was filming that video, which I think was in September, that's when I actually ran out of this. So I found this in my cabinet, like shoved all the way in the back, forgotten, collecting dust, you know, stepchild, nobody cares about them. It was like shoved in there. I took it out and this is a big bottle. It's like pretty, this is 
10 ounces so this is a pretty big bottle and it was full in september so the reason i'm telling you this story oh there's like gunk on there is because that's how generous i am when i use it on my hair i've already used pretty much three-fourths of it and i've only started using it in september so when i get out of the shower after i comb my hair with this i go in with this and i freaking just go ham like i'm like pss, 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 and I go crazy with it um, because I really want to deep condition my hair and it's a leave-in conditioner as well. One tip that I do is I don't put it like near my scalp so I kind of just start from like down here. Because I don't wash my hair often, I don't want to put this conditioner close to my scalp because it's going to get oily faster. So I'm really trying to keep the oils at bay right when I get out the shower. Like I don't wait until the next day or when it gets oily for me to tend to the oiliness i kind of just try to prevent it from day one so i love 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 this this whole bottle i think was 40 well i got it as a gift so i don't know how much that person paid but i think it's like 42 dollars or something like that but that's really pricey but um this thing works pretty freaking awesome besides that i would usually use this so basically once i'm done with this which is probably in a month <laughs> probably less than that I will go back to using this I don't use them together that would just be too much oil for your hair so one or the other this one I same thing after I comb my hair I just like smother this all over my hair and let it sit for around five minutes then after five minutes I go in with this chi volume booster i was reading this as kai for the longest time so i first discovered this brand in college and i was in a sorority so if any of you are affiliated or were affiliated you're basically affiliated for the rest of your life but i'm just saying if you guys were affiliated you'll know that this actually spells out kai in greek which is x so it's not chi but this is English, not Greek. So this is a Chi volume booster. So what it is, is it's a spray that seriously smells so freaking amazing. And what it does is it gives volume to your hair. So like I mentioned, I don't wash my hair for at least three to four days. So by the third day, maybe by the second day, sometimes my hair starts to fall flat because it's starting to get oily. It's just starting to get weighed down. So I really want to be proactive in getting that volume in like as early as possible so it's like phew, luminous and then as the days go by it kind of just like gradually starts settling down instead of having it just that regular and then becoming like wednesday from adam's family which is kind of what i have right now but you guys know what i mean start early get that volume in this is my first bottle pretty dirty the next one that i got is a bumble and bumble one so i can't wait to use that one but this one is so and it smells so freaking good. So I just spray that all over my hair. Um, this one, I do it in the roots too, since it's a volume booster. And then I kind of just let that sit. So I let that sit for another 10 minutes and then I'll go in and brush it out again. And I rarely blow dry my hair because I feel like I just don't, I already style my hair whenever I have somewhere to go. So I'm already putting heat to it. So I just really try to minimize the amount of heat that I put to my hair. So I usually don't blow dry my hair. If I do, it's usually 20 minutes after I get out of the shower, after I do the whole leave-in conditioner and all that. I'll just wait until it's like all soaked in and my follicles aren't like open, like more successful more susceptible um to the damage from the heat so i wait till they kind of like close up so that's what i do and then um when i do decide to style my hair this is the heat protectant that i use so this is the tresemme heat tamer this is the only heat protectant that i've been really really religious to um for several reasons so number one this is like literally less than five dollars at target or walmart it's less than five dollars and this bottle lasts seriously like forever not only that this nozzle right so i love this nozzle because it really sprays out the the product in really fine particles which is really good for styling hair number one it dries faster and number two it kind of like disperses it's like a nice little mist instead of like some of the heat protectant sprays out there the mist particles are not as fine so when i'm like going in and putting the heat protectant like 
it kind of damps my hair and makes it wet, which basically makes it more difficult to style. Number one, it makes it more difficult to style. And number two, when you're styling it, your hair is technically wet and damp now. So um, when you put heat on it, that's when you also get split ends. So I just really love this nozzle. It's the best one ever, like you guys can see here. It just like, it's like a mist. Oh. All right, sorry guys, I had to like adjust my window um, thing because the light was coming in. I was like having funny spots on my face. Anyways, so yeah, this is a heat tamer I use. So basically I spray this all over my hair like 10 minutes before I start styling my hair just so that I can soak it up and dry up before I style my hair. So love, love, love that. Two more things that I do. So another one is that I sleep with a silk pillowcase there's lots of benefits to sleeping with a silk pillowcase number one it's better for your skin your wrinkles more smooth so it doesn't like hold your face like if you sleep on your face or anything like that like you know your skin just like slides off because it's silk there's less like pulling and tugging while you're sleeping number two it's good for your hair as well because it prevents frizz i don't really have frizzy hair but i if I could sleep with the silk pillowcase, then I will, you know? Um, okay, and then the last thing that I wanted to share that I haven't been doing, but I know for sure it will help my hair a lot, is getting haircuts frequently. I don't know anybody that never has split ends. Like, I think that's inevitable just based on like every day or whatever, but a way to minimize your split ends is just to cut them. And when you cut them, your hair looks a lot more healthier. It has a lot more weight to it. Um, it's easily manageable. Like I used that term earlier, it's easier to manipulate when you're doing your hair because when you have split ends, like the bottom of your hair is just all like, you know, like they just have like their own mind. When you cut the split ends, all your hair is the same length. It has a blunt cut, so it's nice and like cut off. So it's easier to style. So the last time I got my hair cut was, I think, in August, the day that I dyed my hair. Yeah, so in August. I'm getting a haircut today, actually, and I plan on getting another haircut in February. So I know August to December, that's like, wait, we're in November. I know August to December, I mean, August to November is like three months, but I think, you know, maybe like a haircut maybe every other month if you can afford it probably be ideal if you use any of these products and you found that it helped your hair i'm happy to share happy to share good tips and if you haven't already go ahead and click that subscribe button hit the notification bell and i will see you guys in the next video